quickly to uh, have, have a brief discussion on ansible part okay uh, okay uh, see 10 uh, 10 years some some couple of years back seven to eight months back okay uh, in in every organization if i want to install a software in uh, mass pcs like uh, 100 pcs 200 200 pcs at a time devops engine uh, i mean desktop engineer will go to each and every desk and he used to install manually so see that task i mean that task was very cumbersome and uh, 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 i mean at the end uh, we, we, i mean we, we cannot say that all the installations in uh, all the thousand pcs has been done successfully or not so it was time consuming okay so as uh, days passed uh, for this uh, i mean um, doing the uh, uh, very important activities like uh, in installation patch updates okay uh, i mean uh, being sitting in one place we can able to control a thousand machines at a time okay so uh, to have a communication uh, or, or i mean to have a specialized technology where i can uh, uh, have my installation simultaneously at a single point of time in a thousand servers so that is possible uh, through uh, this ansible okay so before this ansible was uh, introduced we have we had uh, two other uh, technologies that is a chef and a puppet i mean uh, it, it works on the master there will be a main computer or primary computer that is called a master and uh, there will be a slave computer here uh, slave computer i am referring is the uh, the number of uh, the total number of machines where i need to install my software or install my patches uh, or, uh, or, or, or i mean ro roll out my uh, uh, i mean jobs i mean you, you can yeah, uh, you, yeah? yes Sorry yes Priya. if you are sharing your screen the screen is not visible to us yeah no no, no i mean once again are you able to see now? Yes, now it's visible. No, no, but at, at, at appropriate time, I, I will be able, I mean, I will okay, be. Okay, perfect, uh, yeah. perfect. I'm just uh, okay. telling the, the, the theoretical now. Okay. okay. So uh, there comes master slave concept. Master is a computer, it's a primary computer where, uh, for example, if I want to uh, install some uh, uh, 20 softwares or uh, some uh, OS is running and I want to update some patches. What I will do, I mean, uh, I will maintain a replica in the primary computer, okay? Uh, and and uh, in the slave computer, I, I need to uh, install, I, I want to available in the primary to the slaves. The slaves can be 100 machines or 1000 machines, it can be anything. But uh, the only thing, uh, uh, all the machines should be uh, interconnected uh, each other okay i mean uh, that should be very good in uh, networking so now how i can roll out whatever the stuff i am having in primary to the slave machines for that uh, we have we had uh, previously various uh, technologies like chef and puppet so uh, b b chef and puppet i mean it, it, it is nothing but it is a specialized software okay where we will be installing the uh, puppet agent in the slave machine okay so uh, this agent will be running the slave machine what it will do this agent in the i mean the puppet agent in the slave machine i mean for every half an hour or regular intervals it will uh, try to uh, check the state of the machine for example uh, if the software i mean in the primary software a and software b has, has been installed uh, in the in the slave in the slave also uh, software a and b is installed assume this is the scenario now i'm adding uh, software c in the primary machine okay so after i mean some uh, half an hour or 10 minutes whatever the regular time what it will do the puppet agent it will try to compare the uh, state of the machine between the primary and the uh, slave machine so definitely there is going to be the difference so when it found the difference it means something newly has been added in the primary what the agent running in the slave machine it, it will do it will uh, see the log file uh, whichever the newly appended it will try to pull from uh, machine to slave okay the, the, this is i mean uh, uh, so it works on the pull mechanism whatever uh, that is been added newly in the prime primary or master machine the agent running the puppet agent or chef agent running in the uh, slave machine it will try to uh, pull and it will uh, update itself 
so this i mean uh, for years you know like the puppet and the chef was uh, very popular and again uh, there was a drawback so i mean uh, here we need to install uh, agent in all the slave machine only uh, if, if you install agent in all the slave machine this mechanism will work out uh, i mean puppet and the agent uh, both are uh, coding wise it is uh, uh, same uh, chef means uh, i mean uh, uh, chef we, we, we use the uh, uh, technology like uh, cookies recipes all these things but the overall the the, the 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 core the the core concept is same it i mean the agent should be running in the slave machine and in the master uh, whatever we want to install we have to update in one machine from that uh, the agent running the slave machine it will pull and it will update so the, we need the agent okay so again uh, it is a cost and uh, sub assume that if any of the machine uh, agent is, uh, is is gone to dead state then uh, in that in those pieces will not i mean those pieces uh, the the new stuffs whatever we had in the primary it will not get updated so chef and puppet it, it was it was fine but again it is a time consuming it is a cost factor in every machine the agent is required so to eliminate this thing uh, later uh, the new uh, technologies are arise that is called ansible okay so now ansible is ruling the world now chef and puppet has gone obsolete now no uh, organization uh, in the it field is using this chef and puppet Okay, now uh, we are using Ansible. So Ansible is a very simple uh, concept. Okay, I mean for you, uh, I mean no additional uh, uh, no agent. I mean um, no special uh, uh, software socket. I mean uh, here also the same concept. We have a primary computer. Okay, and we have the slave machines. So primary and the slave is connected uh, through uh, SSH tunneling. You, you know, I mean, uh, uh, it is a easy mechanism uh, through which, uh, through secured uh, socket. Uh, I mean, uh, the, whatever the networking uh, uh, available, we can able to connect uh, between uh, primary and the slave machine. Okay. And here, uh, Chef and Puppet, it follows the pull mechanism. Whereas in Ansible, it is a push mechanism. Okay. So whatever uh, uh, server, I mean, whatever we, we, have, we have it in the server, if you run the program, from the primary it will push all the patches or the softwares that is available in the primary to the slave machine so here uh, there is no we, i mean agent not required to run in the slave machine as we uh, discussed in the chef and puppet so it is very uh, simple mechanism if you establish a, a socket layer connection between two computers uh, keep one as primary and another as secondary whatever uh, we we have in the primary it will be pushed to the slave very neatly and very quickly and uh, extra uh, there is no extra cost and there is no extra technology the agent not required so this is the uh, beauty of the ansible machine that uh, it, it is uh, uh, so popular in the market okay so uh, now well, let us see the ansible architecture so if you see the ansible architecture So, uh, you, uh, guys, you can see my. Uh, are you able to see my see my screen? Hello. Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. See, if you see the architecture, the inventory module API plugin. This is the core engine of the Ansible. Okay. So, to this engine. We can have uh, multiple trains connected to this. We, uh, like uh, we can have uh, uh, databases, and we can have. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, clouds. Maybe it can be private, uh, public, on-premise, and then we can have multiple users uh, connected, connected, connected to this uh, Ansible machine, and we can have a playbook, uh, multiple, uh, multiple type of uh, playbooks uh, connected to this uh, Ansible machine. So the, 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 the four parts are inventory, module, API, plugins. We have multiple uh, plugins. So th through through the use of those plugins, we can able to perform various type of uh, activities like uh, pushing the whatever the sources that is available in the primary to the slave. So, but like uh, we can see, uh, we can have we can push uh, to a single host at a time. At the same time, we can also push to a multiple uh, uh, host which are in a different uh, network. Okay, so this is the simple Ansible architecture. Uh, hope uh, you have. Uh, uh, you, you understood what uh, Ansible architecture. It's, it's very again. It's a simple uh, engine which have invent. It should have an inventory file. It should have APIs. It should have plugins. And uh, 
and then modules okay so module is nothing but uh, uh, like uh, we can have the uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, multiple pro programs uh, um, the program using which we can able to push our uh, uh, multiple softwares to the host and uh, different i mean multiple hosts that is the modules uh, it, it can be a single program it can be a multiple pro program okay and the inventory inventory is nothing but uh, it is the configuration file uh, in the inventory file only we will be storing uh, all the uh, slave machine ips i mean if if, if you have a uh, 100 uh, ips uh, slave machine those uh, ips we will maintain in the inventory file and the apis apis is nothing but uh, again uh, it is a specialized package for where you know we can be used uh, for uh, high end purposes i mean for special activities we can use the apis so for this engine we can have multiple tenants uh, like uh, uh, i mean uh, we can have a static inventory dynamic inventory as i told you uh, like uh, we have the static file in uh, ansible engine where we can maintain the uh, the, the list of uh, slave machines to whom we need to update so this is called a static so like uh, we can also have a, a dynamic uh, uh, inventory where we can uh, dynamically get the uh, slave machine ips okay like uh, for example uh, uh, like i will have a single single program but it will be, uh, uh, I mean, for example, uh, there are uh, 50 AWS account. So the single program can, can connect to the uh, 100 AWS accounts and uh, we can have multiple uh, uh, activities. So like uh, that's, that, is, that is the reason uh, uh, I, I had said that uh, uh, we can able to pull the uh, dynamic IPs from DBs and uh, through various INA files. I mean, there are modes through which uh, we can able to get the uh, list of IPs or a slave machine IPs to which uh, uh, I need to do the, I mean, uh, software installation. So th this is very, I mean, uh, simple architecture. Okay. So now I'm just uh, going to say how to install the uh, uh, Ansible. So be be before uh, going to Ansible, uh, for demo purpose, I have created uh, one uh, one primary uh, EC2 instance and we have uh, two uh, slave machine. Okay so uh, you can see in the chat window uh, i have given you uh, how to install the ansible okay so and i can show it in the here slow machine so sudo i mean so i mean the even the it is a open source ansible is a open source okay it's available free of cost so uh, first uh, first i'm going to install the ansible One second. So already it is it is it is installed. Okay, that's why it's not required. Now I am showing you the the command which I have given you. If you run that command, the Ansible will be installed. Okay, now I'm going to show you the how to see the version. So I'm using Ansible version 2.9. Okay, now as I told you, uh, master and uh, there will be a number of slaves. So in my case, I have used uh, one master and uh, two slaves okay now uh, uh, i am going to connect uh, primary to slave one primary to slave two okay so uh, as you know that uh, you uh, like uh, like we uh, like first create the three ec2 instance and then uh, log into the primary so there you have to first uh, create the key key gen So uh, if you if you uh, enter, it will ask. Uh, you just press enter, enter. So uh, now the key. Now how to see the key? For that you have to go use the command. So you are uh, seeing something you now. Uh, this is the key. So you copy this key. Go to the uh, each uh, slave machine. For example, I'm going to the uh slave one so here dot sh 
okay ls we go to the authorized keys file and you have to add this key like this so you can see i have i have added this so uh, the uh, generate the key in the primary copy the key go to the primary okay and paste it in authorized key folder and then you come out in the same way uh, secondary also so now i want to see whether the primary is getting connected to secondary or not so for that uh, we have to get, uh, use this command sh this is the username i am using centos so now i want to uh, connect to the uh, slave one okay so but let us see what is the ip press enter so now i am into the uh, i have connected to the uh, primary okay in the same way you can uh, try it for uh, secondary also search this is the username at the rate of the target machine so i'm using a public ip so i have put from the primary i am able to connect it to the second i mean uh, slave one and again from primary i am able to connect to the uh, slave two so the first thing you have to check this thing okay first the connection should uh, should be uh, uh, established we have to verify before running any ansible program so so now we have verified the connection between primary to slave one and primary to slave two has been established okay so so next next thing i have told you that uh, i am having primary so primary will be having a inventory file so in the inventory file i need to provide the list of slave machine ips to whom i i need to run that patch so that uh, installation will will happen simultaneously so for this we have to so once you install once so once you install uh, at, the, at the end uh, i mean the, the the screen itself will show you the configuration file so open the configuration file so configuration file first line itself it will show you the inventory file so this is the path where we will be maintaining our inventory see the, i mean this is not compulsory even according to the project uh, the path you uh, and the file uh, the only thing the entry should be available in the configuration file okay so for, for, for us by default it is uh, ansible so now i have, I have seen uh, where is the location of my host file so i am coming out and i am going to the uh, by ansible host file so here if i see uh, so uh, i'm just uh, tagging all my uh, you uh, the, the slave machine ip under uh, uh, this uh, under uh, tagging called host so under host i'm just uh, keeping my public ip so for, for, uh, since the ip has changed i need to update this one go to go to the uh, ec2 instance go to the ec2 instance first uh, copy the ip of the slave machine one and then update here and then i'm going for a second machine so here is the list where you mentioned this is a static uh, inventory okay so i told you there are two types of inventory this is static and uh, dynamic static in the sense i will store uh, this is a permanent i will store all uh, and before the running the ansible program itself I, I will know what are the slave machine ips to which i need to do the updations 
dynamic is the one uh, while running the program i don't know uh, in the run time uh, uh, through some source external source i will be getting the slave machine ips so uh, those method is called uh, dynamic uh, inventory method so this, 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 now this is the static inventory method now let me copy the second uh, uh, slave machine ip so uh, followed by this is the uh, the the user id to log in to that uh, slave machine ip1 and second is the uh, user id to log in to the slave machine ip2 so after giving you just come out okay so uh, now i have uh, 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 from primary to slave machines i have done the connection and also in the primary i have uh, done the uh, configuration setup also now i want to see from I'm able to ping to the uh, slave one and the slave two for though for this we have a ansible ad hoc commands so using ad hoc commands we can uh, very easily able to identify so as i told you uh, the host i mean uh, all the piece are tagged under the single uh, uh, tag key called a host okay so you should not forget this so i will use this, this use automatically uh, all the slave machine ip uh, combined under this uh, uh, tag name will be uh, called out now i'm going to ping ping from master machine to all of the slave machine that is tagged under uh, host uh, tag name so if i run it is taking time okay see you have got the green color if you are getting green means the connection has been success okay uh, other than the green if you are uh, getting or unknown error this means the connection between primary and secondary has not been established so you have to get this ping pong this is the first step to find out whether connection between primary and slave number of slaves has been established or not so guys uh, do you have question uh, till this point hello i don't have any questions thank you so so far uh, the, the steps which i told you is it is it clear to you, you all if any doubts please uh, um, i am very much uh, committed to uh, uh, reply your queries yeah it's clear yeah so uh, if, in ansible first uh, you to identify that uh, connection between primary and secondary is established or not you can uh, ad you can identify through this uh, green color okay so now i want to i am going to uh, i mean uh, install two software that is apache web server apache web server and git okay so the in the go, first go to the secondary and find out uh, whether already uh, the git is there or not so for that we need to find out uh, the git command once again first uh, try to see the git version i'm going to the slave i'm just clear okay so i'm um, i want to find out whether uh, git is already there or not in the in the first the slave so already it is there so i'm just re removing yum remove git so oh, now no, again i'm checking so there is no git okay in the same way come go to the secondary uh find out whether the git is there or not so git is there so to, re to remove git it is the m remove git to put yes again i'm triggering so there is no uh, git is there again i'm going to install a uh, httpd i mean uh, the name httpd is nothing but apache in in uh, centos it is called whereas uh, the the similar name in ubuntu is apache okay so now i'm just going to see whether http is enabled or not 
this is to just to find out where the software which I'm going to do is already already is there or not. The, the just and cross verifying. It is there. You can remove um, remove std pd. It is no. It is not there. So again, I'm coming to the secondary. I'm 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 removing. Okay, httpd. Is there? I'm just so I'm I'm removing. So uh, uh, we have found out uh, that in slave machine one and slave machine two, we don't have httpd. Now, uh, before uh, I, I mean, I would like to. Uh, I failed to uh, say one point. See, uh, like uh, as uh, ma from master, if, if if I'm having the software ready made in hand, okay, we can uh, copy the files from the master to slave one and slave two. Then we can uh, then once the file is getting copied to the slave one. Then we run the uh, install command in each uh, slave machine. We can do. Uh, uh, I don't have a software in hand, but it is available in the repository. And uh, the two machines are connected to the uh, internet. Then uh, I mean, uh, the only thing you know, just you pass the command. Automatically, uh, each slave will pull the software from the public repository, and uh, it will get installed. So in the same way, I'm going to install a HTTPD and uh, the Git. Only thing you you ensure that uh, your slave machine is connected to the internet. Okay, so now I'm going to run my uh, first uh, program. I will show you the program. So uh, Here, uh, the Ansible programs can be written in two format. One is uh, YAML format or JSON format. But in actual practice, no one using JSON format. Everyone is having the habit of writing in uh, YAML format, the extension YAML. So this YAML is nothing but uh, yet another markup language. That is the full abbreviation for YAML. It is like it is similarly like uh, uh, I mean markup language. What are the markup languages? So you know that HTML, DHTML, XML. So these are coming under the markup language category. So uh, uh, YAML, the the Ansible written in YAML file, it is also come in that category. See the extension can be YAML or YML. Okay, you can uh, you can follow both, but the convention is YAML. You can keep YAML or YML also. Uh, both are uh, fine, but uh, actual practice we are fo we are following only YAML. Okay, so now I'm just going to write one small program. One second. See, uh, as I told you, this is the format for writing the Ansible uh, program. You should be very attentive this time. Okay, first your program should uh, trust. Okay, and then uh, single line, and then your program should start like this. First host, uh, and then uh, come task. So uh, when I say the task, okay, uh, you should leave first uh, two lines. Then third line you have to start. There are some grammar syntax is there because since, since I don't have much time, I'm just uh, telling you very on uh, uh, high level. So now I'm we are going to install HTTP hey, Git. So you can ask me like uh, uh, how I can know that uh, in which machine uh, 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 roll out uh, these softwares. So here this is the host. So in the config file we know that under uh, we have created a so under host we have copied uh, those two 
uh, uh, slave machine IPs. Okay, and then uh, uh, like while in installing, you should be in the in the uh, root mode. So only if you are root mode, it will uh, install. And then, uh, as I told you, like uh, we have two machines. Assume that if it is uh, some five thousand machines at a time, so uh, installation we can uh, we can have a strategy like. Uh, uh, like uh, we can have first hundred machines, next hundred machines like that. We can every hundred we can uh, increase. Okay, so here uh, we have only two machines. So I'm going uh, one by one. So uh, this is the uh, this very really important. Okay, like you can uh, uh, go by a twenty percentage, uh, then twenty percentage. So like that you can increase. So the while uh, you should be very careful uh, how you are going to. Like, Either you can do all the thousand machines at a time. If you are doing all at a time, then uh, there will be a network error will come. Instead, what you can do, if it is very bulk, you can go for uh, ten machines like that. Uh, strategy you can you can adopt. Okay, and then uh, here, I mean the, these are the softwares like I'm uh, 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 HTTP and uh, Git. Okay, and you you are like uh, it's very simple. I mean uh, if you are uh, if you are going to uh, install the software. The state, the state should be present. If you are going to remove, uh, you can replace a present with remove. Okay. So this is the sample program. Uh, already uh, in the meeting invite, uh, there is a folder is there. So in that folder, uh, all the nearly some uh, uh, 30 to 40 programs are there. So if you go through those programs, no, I, I can say that you are uh, eligible to write a very complex code in uh, uh, Ansible. So I know I'm going to run this program. Okay. So to run this program, the command is Ansible hyphen playbook. You have to give the, uh, as I told you, it can be YAML, YML, anything. So I'm running. So uh, you can see that, uh, no. Uh, my strategy was go by one machine by one one machine. So see if uh, uh, if you are uh, from master, you are installing in some PC. Okay, if really installation has happened uh, truly, uh, how I mean whether it has happened truly or not, how we how we can know? See the task uh, here. It is uh, like uh, you you can see that the status it is changed and uh, the color is yellow. So if you are if you are finding out yellow, this means the task has been uh, done successfully. Okay, uh, so for first I'm running a slave machine and then second you can see I have run in slave two. So here uh, you can see the status has been changed. So if you are getting uh, this yellow color, this means uh, that success successfully done. So now we can go to the, uh, the slave machine. Now we can check the first I will check the git, git version. Okay, here I'm checking the git version. you can see the git version in slave machine one this means in slave machine one i have installed the git now i'm going to the slave machine two see you can see the git machine two also i have successfully installed the git now i'm going to see the http that is uh, apache uh, web server has been installed successfully or not how can it going to uh, trigger this command First, I'm going to start the only if it is installed, if you if you run, use this start command, the server will be starting. Otherwise, it will throw error. See, re re redirecting. So now I'm going to show the status. The status, it is showing us running. This means uh, you have successfully installed uh, HTTPD and uh, get in slave machine one. Now we'll go and see the slave machine two. Same way, system CTL HTTP HTTPD start. So okay, what is the command? Service okay.
start. So I have started. Now I'm going to see the status. See, it is running. See, now we have understood from the, uh, I mean, uh, using. See, this is a simple program. Okay. So from master without uh, going to uh, near to the computer slave server from the master uh, through coding I have installed the list of softwares so like that we can um, now now i'm going to remove i know i don't want uh, softwares now i want to whatever uh, i have installed i'm going to remove okay uninstall so again i can make the simple program see simple changes now i'm uh, giving now i'm running the same code So now it is going to uninstall. So again, uh, uh, I have run this command. It has shown a yellow color. This means successfully my uh, my commands has been fired. First, we will check the Git version. Uh, it, it should not show so filer directory this means uh, git has been removed successfully again i'm just uh, checking hcdb uh, status uh, could not found hcdb dot service could not found this means uh, from slave one it has been uninstalled success successfully so again i'm going to the uh, uh slave machine and checking it is see uh HTTP dot service could not be found this is the error thrown in slave machine too and again i'm checking the git so git also it is telling uh, no such file so this means i have shown you through single yaml file how to install and uh, how to uh, un uninstall whatever the uh, this thing uh, uh, the softwares. So here I have used asynch uh, asynchronous and poll. Okay. See the thing is uh, here uh, I have done only one activity. That is a installation. Assume that a certain uh, okay you are a single job will take more time. So okay. So. Uh, once uh, and then i mean i assume that in our in a single program we have some five okay so first activity you know that it will take some uh, 45 seconds uh, till such time you should not disturb that process okay so uh, like uh, whether the first process completed or not i mean uh, we have to check that one we are using polling so here I'm used uh, like if I put a uh, polling two, okay. So if I polling two, what it will do program? Program it will wait for 45 seconds. Whatever the process is running, it will not disturb. Okay, and then uh, once uh, the, the 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 process gets complete, automatically the control will be given to the polling. So polling uh, it will uh, it will take. A the previous process completed so if it is completed then it will I mean, it will allow the other task uh, to take place so that is why we are using asynchronous and uh, polling polling method okay i mean if it is more number of uh, thousand machines uh, in those scenario in those scenarios we will be using strategy either uh, to roll out tests or to roll out uh, freely freely in the sense all the thousand computers at a time so if you follow the, then the network issue will come and then again uh, this mass computer we have to use uh, as asynchronous and the polling the your ansible program should run in asynchronous and in polling method okay so this is the uh, good set for writing the program so this is the simple ansible program okay so next next topic uh, once again file copy we will will uh, okay as i told you see i'm having uh, one file in my master 
that file I want to multiple uh, system at a time. So again, I, I can uh, use the and I'm just uh, show you a sample uh, Ansible program. Okay, uh, see here I have, I have given uh, various uh, uh, Ansible programs are there. Seen that one. On scan. Um, okay, and in Ansible program, like you know, you can use uh, uh, if statement, do statement, while statement. Okay, uh, but uh, this. Uh, you need uh, you, you I mean uh, using a so Jinja template is a, a special uh, you know, library where you can uh, uh, use the percentage symbol so within the percentage symbol you have to use uh, uh, we can use the uh, if statement I will show you some example Okay. Uh, before that uh, number, we will see how to declare a variable. See, uh, now I'm in my own computer. Now I, I don't want a slave machine. So in that uh, no, connection will be local. Okay. So I'm just uh, trying to print the uh, environmental variable. We know that uh, shell. Uh, shell is having a lot of uh, environmental, environmental variables. So to, to that, we, have, we need to declare like this. Okay. And then uh, th these values I am storing in local shell. And uh, to print, but to print, the printing should be done between two braces. Two braces is called as interpolation. Okay, so let's uh, run this program. And civil book world dot yml. Okay. Just uh, I have printed the value. Say you will get the values. Let me show you some Jinda templates. Now the program is having a ginger template once again. A star dot OEM. In dot uh, once again, let me check. The 
please. Now the program is having uh, that Jinja template. How to use a uh, statement? It is there. I'm just trying to show that one. There are multiple programs are there. So I'm just uh, feeling a bit. Uh, uh, okay. See, uh, you can see like. Uh, in the ansible i mean uh, see ansible is the scripting is very common so you maybe you you might have a, done a scripting experience in java okay python so there we are using a if uh, for do while so th those things uh, uh, those things only we are using but here uh, those things i mean uh, not use them instead we should take the jinja template library uh, help okay so now I'm uh, just uh, uh, trying to print. Uh, so here I'm using for loop. OK, so the for loop, it is written between uh, in between Jinja, this percentage. This percentage is nothing but Jinja template. So you see when I mean, uh, 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 this percentage symbol, you can uh, you can have the your uh, uh, branching uh, or decision making statements. L let me run, run this program. Playbook sound. Yum, yum. It is trying to print zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So, uh, so like this, uh, I have given uh, multiple programs. So you just okay. Definitely, uh, uh, like we have the, the, the data dictionary, and then we have a list, uh, and then we have arrays. Okay. So those things, whatever you have uh, done in Java or Python, same only in. Uh, 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 existing in uh, uh, this thing um, uh, ansible how to use them i have given you sample like a sample uh, if you run the uh, it, uh, the output are very very simple okay so like uh, i will show you sound uh, 74 no 75 dot yml so so here i am trying to compare the value okay the value i have given 10 so uh, uh, like uh, the whatever the value i'm entering uh, whether it is lesser than five or will, uh, greater than one or two it will print so uh, you uh, I, i've used when i'm running this sample program the ansible is not uh, it is not a theoretical uh, subject okay the only thing it is a coding you have to uh, practice uh, to extend so then only we will be able to understand so the value is 10 okay so i am trying to come com uh, trying to print the value and uh, trying to come various comparisons okay. so uh, now i am going to the uh, next topic uh, called roles uh, see like uh, like uh, as i told you in a program there will be some 100 files are there okay so those 100 files uh, those 100 files i need to classify and keep them properly so that uh, like uh, for reusable if, if anyone external project wants to use my uh, ansible program okay uh, it can be, I mean, uh, without doing any modification, if I if I uh, set up a project under uh, using role, okay, uh, the, the project can be, uh, uh, with, with, with a few changes, we can, and uh, uh, we can bring the reusability feature. Now, uh, already I have uh, shared you uh, some uh, sites, okay, where you, where you can, uh, refer the uh, uh, the various articles on ansible so uh, i mean as i told you the strategy 
so for uh, the, uh, the uh, i have pasted in the uh, chat window so regarding strategy you can uh, refer this url okay and then for basic ansible uh, for uh, for basic ansible uh, tutorial i am just uh, you can uh, refer th this thing ansible architecture of the once again You can refer these websites, and one more better website I will tell you. <laughs> so you can refer these two websites. Okay. So now I will tell you uh, the Ansible role is very, very important. I'll tell you how to create the Ansible. Roles, and also I have given you one small learning material that is very easy to learn. Okay, so yeah, there you you can see various programs, various programs, and one more concept is there, Walt concept, V A U L T. So Walt concept is nothing but you know, like if I want to hide my password from the external, I can use the Walt. Now uh, left out topic is uh, roles. Uh, roles I will I will take you once again. Ansible Galaxy Init. Role. Once again, it need all all name. No, once again, Ansible architecture. So, uh, if you are doing a project in Ansible, you have to create first a role. Okay, so after creating role, you have to. Do, 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 Rules, okay. So uh, once if you create, uh, once if you create role, it will create a set of uh, folders. So uh, in that folder, uh, there is a place where you have to keep only variables. And uh, in some, uh, there is a place where you, I mean, uh, if you want to copy the sub files from master to slave, um, again, uh, there is a separate place where you have to keep. So, I mean, uh, whatever the, the, the resource or the stuff you are having, like uh, whatever the demo I've showed you, it is in a single place. Whereas using role, I am just uh, segregating that and then placing in the appropriate place in a uh, directory format. Okay. So, um, Once again, just trying to create a role. To create role. Guys, before everyone drops out, there's a meeting at five o'clock. Okay, okay. I mean, uh, see, wh whoever can drop, can drop it. Uh, I will finish. Yeah. Uh, the, the role is the last. This is, this is a very important concept. Please give me just a two, two seconds. I will. Uh, I will yes, close. Nishana, you can yeah, continue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, at five o'clock also, there's a DevOps session. So make okay. sure you all are present at that time. See, role has been created. Okay, now CD it, I mean, this is nothing but it. I mean, we are creating only a data, data structure. I mean, data directory structure 
under which you are uh, placing the appropriate uh, stuffs in appropriate places so that it can be reused and uh, uh, i mean uh, there will be better understanding cd and cbl actually uh, see if you want to learn uh, 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 this thing uh, uh, ansible long it will take nearly 3 months because we have nearly 800 libraries okay so there is ansible documentation is there where you can uh, go go i mean go in depth okay. Uh, you, you can see uh, this is the structure uh, structure I have created. So I'm just going in inside the structure. Roles and then CD Apache. So in this, uh, see, in Apache, this is the structure. As I told you, in VARS folder, I will keep, I will keep, I will keep only the variables. Okay, and then in uh, templates, in in templates. Uh, for example, if I want to copy some software or some uh, text files to some uh, remote machine, so those files I will keep in templates. And uh, uh, task, so the, in the task, in, in task only, I will be writing the main job. For example, copying uh, or uh, executing a command or uh, deleting, uninstalling. So all the main task, uh, it will be under task. This uh, readme.md, this is nothing but uh, this will tell about the more about uh, in general, I mean, what is the project? Uh, I mean, what are the what are the actions that is go, the, the the specific role is going to do? So all the high level information we can accommodate accommodate in uh, readme.md, and then handlers again, you know, for example, handler is nothing but uh, it's a it's a separate concept. Okay, for example, I have uh, I have installed uh, some hundred uh, machines. Okay, so in that I'm just uh, going to uh, stop start. So the, the, that uh, stop start code, okay, I can uh, write it in handler. Again, uh, files, files, I mean, uh, uh, whatever the uh, uh, in installation files I, uh, that I want to copy from uh, primary to child or uh, slave machine that I can uh, keep it in uh, files and other uh, uh, like, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, if there is file that is not required, okay. I'm just for but uh, 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 the, the the project should have so those stuffs we can do uh, keep it in default. So the I mean uh, I suggest you whatever whenever do a project in Ansible, okay. You 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 just started using your role. So apart from role, uh, the, we have other uh, concepts also. Uh, since we don't have time, okay. We we don't have time. I'm just uh, telling you like I have pinged you uh, two two websites, okay. So by in that in that websites, uh, you, you can see uh, uh, all the. I mean, if you go through two through two websites thoroughly, then definitely there are examples are there. And I, I also given the examples. You please practice with them. Okay, uh, uh, like uh, definitely you will be able to uh, uh, gain some good uh, knowledge in uh, Ansible. Ansible is very simple. And uh, one more uh, like uh, in Java. Uh, we are we are writing a program. So you generally, if you write a program, you should also maintain about the. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, you should handle the take care of the errors. If if the program is throwing error, you should handle the error and uh, appropriately, uh, your program should not get terminated. So for that, uh, we are having a, a special concept in Ansible called a block method. We have the block, block, rescue, and always, whatever the your main action. You like how in Java we have a try, catch, throw, finally. In the same way, Ansible we have block, rescue, always. So in the block, in the block method, uh, you will have uh, all the uh, the main task. Okay. Assume that uh, in the block, if it is if it is failed, okay. Uh, but uh, it should not terminate the program. The program should be keep on moving. But generally, if you if you don't use uh, error handling mechanism, once if your program gets error, it will terminate. But uh, if you induct uh, error, error handling mechanism, even if it is error, you, you, your program should should keep on continuing. In the same way, we have the rescue command. Okay, Re rescue and always. So these are the three keywords: block, rescue, always. Your main uh, program will be your task will be in block. So if if anything gets uh, failed in block command, automatically the the failure will pass on control to rescue. So here, uh, based up, I mean, I mean, you should you should write a code in such a way that uh, the program should the program the program should uh, continue further okay 
and uh, always so even if the program is running successfully or uh, failed uh, the, the the whatever the code is written under always part it, it will execute so uh, uh, don't forget it ansible uh, again i'm just uh, sharing this uh, video also uh, this uh, site also so uh, your whatever the ansible program you should not uh, roughly write it uh, as i mean uh, you should follow some uh, some uh, some uh, standard what is standard i mean you have to use you should uh, handle the have the appropriate error handling mechanism that is you should use uh, block rescue always so there is the good way of uh, writing the uh, ansible uh, program i'm just uh, pasting uh, this site also so i have given a couple of programs and i have given you some sites go through the sites definitely at least a 70 percentage of the ansible knowledge you will get okay so i, I uh, uh, priya is there Hello? Hello? Hello, Priya, are you, are you there? Hello. Hello. I think Priya is not there. Yeah, fine. I'm just uh, ending my session. Uh, please go. Uh, whatever the feed, uh, please uh, have your copy, and uh, you will uh, in the uh, meeting invite. You will you will find one one folder. So you also copy that folder. Inside the folder, there are uh, forty programs are there. Okay. You just go through the programs. Definitely try out all these things. I have showed you basic things. Okay, so further you drill down, definitely you will have a very good knowledge in Ansible. Whatever I have taken, uh, uh, nearly uh, the 60, 60 to 70 percentage I have covered. The extra commands, so you can find it in the website which I have uh, shared you in the chat window. Okay, thank you, guys. I'm, I'm ending my session. Thank you for joining. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.